According to News and World Report's best graduate school rankings, the University of South Carolina's medical school has been ranked number one in America for the number of graduates working in underserved parts of the state. The school says it's difficult for rural counties to attract doctors. News 19's Eleanor Tabone tonight with the impact on patients as well. I have rheumatoid arthritis and I went for approximately um, eight years eight to ten years um, without seeing anyone. For years, Beth Somerset struggled to get access to health care. It was awful. It was just awful. Her pain, she says, wore her down. Hopelessness, depression, um, I can't even tell you, it was miserable. It was through a family friend she was able to get medical help. And I found a great solution to mine, but a lot of people don't have that. The really rural areas, um, they just don't have access to it, so they, they suffer. Unfortunately, Beth's story is one of many across the state living in underserved areas. According to USC, a majority of the 46 counties in South Carolina are considered medically underserved. Thankfully, that may soon change. The University of South Carolina School of Medicine, Columbia, was ranked number one in the country with over 65% of our graduates working in medically underserved areas. According to US News and World Reports for best graduate school rankings, USC School of Med came in on top for graduates currently practicing in areas where there is a shortage of healthcare professionals. Counties have lost many of their healthcare providers, a few counties where there aren't even physicians left practicing within the county. I think one of the biggest hurdles that patients in a rural facility face is access to care. So finding specialty care can be difficult. It makes me excited because because we get to wear so many hats. Dr. Lane Way graduated from USC and is now working in Clarendon County. For me to be a USC graduate, I couldn't be more proud of the school. A South Carolinian herself, she says her goal was to always serve those in rural parts of the state. Being able to have that rewarding experience serving those populations after graduation was another thing that was an extra incentive. In Columbia, Eleanor Tabone, News 19 WLTX.